What is the deal, beautiful people? It's your boy Ramon, Lifestyles Defined. Welcome to another episode of AMA. For those of you who are new here, you don't know how this works, leave your question in the comment section below and we will gladly answer it in a video format very similar to this. Today's question comes from a user Jihad Powell. Thank you, sir, for your question. What do you think about the latest Microsoft flagships Lumia 950 announced today? So obviously the question is from a while back, um, and we've done we've done podcasts. Check out the podcast I've done uh, uh, videos talking about it. Now, why I aside from the fact that I always like to answer answer the question you guys ask, why I think this is still a very valid question is because the new build of Windows Phone came out yesterday, and uh, I didn't go back to double check if this was the same build that they had on. The hardware they were showing off the 950 to 950 XL, but something tells me it might be. Reason being is uh, Edgar Edgar was saying, you know, as, as soon as I saw it, I hit him up in the in the group me chat. I said, "Yo, new build, baby," and he said, "Yeah, well, you got to downgrade to 8.1 and go back to." I, was like, I don't care. I'm doing it. I'm halfway there already. And he was like, "Wow, I didn't think you would do it." I have a problem. I, I, I seriously bleed blue. I'm just a Microsoft whore. Uh, don't matter if you think I switched to Android. I'm like, I'm, st I'm still in it, baby. And I was pleasantly surprised that this build does not suck. I mean, this build is literally the first build that is good enough to pass for a daily driver. Never mind that fanboy shit that you read in the forums and the comments. Oh no, this one's good, this one, because my phone app doesn't crash, it's good for a daily driver. Like, no, it wasn't. Performance was terrible. In this build, uh, it's it's actually really smooth. Uh, I would say it's on par, uh, maybe a little, little bit slower than uh, Windows, uh, the Windows Phone 8.1, but more importantly, it's, it's stable. And it's really good. And this was a part of my disdain for the entire situation. Was like, guys, you're going to show me new hardware and the build that we were getting is this? These builds are terrible. Like, I'm just putting one. Listen, I will forever be a Microsoft fanboy. I will never deny it. But I'm putting one and one together. And this shit ain't looking like two. But now that I've got my hand on this new build, everything's running smooth. Uh, in fact... A lot of the frustrations that I'm having with my my Android phone. Let me check right now. My battery is on 18%. It is now 8:50 in the after at night after a full day's of work, and I charged that phone twice. Twice for the day I charged that phone. It's still at 18%. And that drives me nuts. And that alone is something that made me almost put my SIM card back in my 1520 with this new build. Uh, then it, it's simple things like apps crashing all the time when you're just like, why is my fucking Facebook app crashing? It's a 40 meg app that updates on a bi-weekly basis. Not even, I'm sorry, on an everyday basis at this point. What is it crashing? What, what is the problem? Sometimes Instagram, it's just like random shit that's just... It's so annoying. It's like I love the hardware to death and then like, I'm forced to use shit. And it's like I was no better off. Uh, I was no better off on Android than I was on Windows Phone. And it's seriously becoming a toss-up. Uh, so much so that I went back and I used I used the examples of the Play Memories app for my Sony camera and how I can just drag pictures off the camera wirelessly and effortlessly to the phone. Uh, there's a solution for that on Windows Phone. It's not as pretty, but it works, goddammit. Then I even found that there's a Philips Hue app, a few of them on the Windows Phone. Again, third-party apps. They're not as pretty, but they work. And I'm starting to contemplate, should I just go back? Like, it's it's this this highly annoying concept of, yes, your phone can do everything under the kitchen sink, but it can't last past the afternoon, so what's the point? What is the point? So what I think about the new Lumia devices, I think they're looking like gold, goddammit. Especially if Microsoft can gain some traction uh, with this iOS and Android app porting. Come on with it, man. Uh, I'm less excited about Continuum because I don't I don't need a makeshift desktop, uh, desktop portrayal. And I, I've already expressed in the podcast and uh, the videos before that 
the the continuum feature won't be ready for prime time at least at earliest i'm sorry a year from now when app developers are on the ball and they start to support it so that's not a big deal for me uh the camera was seeing some was seeing some shots some images coming out of that and i really enjoying the camera but again <laughs> I'm separated from that world, right? Where I don't give two shits about the camera on my phone anymore. And the camera on the Galaxy is amazing. Uh, I posted a few pictures on Instagram from uh, I took my lady on a cruise around Manhattan, and I got some pictures under the bridge and of the Statue of Liberty and people. It's just like, oh man, you're killing it with your cameras. Like, That's not my camera, dog. That's that Galaxy with some 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 editing, some heavy editing in uh in Lightroom, but it got the picture. It got the point. But I'm less and less in that world. I'm walking around with my my A7 Mark II because I'm getting very serious about my photography and preparing to start selling my photography. So, you know, the 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 camera on the back of my phone is is less important. But to somebody like Edgar, the the camera is gold because that's how he makes his videos, right? Why do you need to unless you're selling photography, go out and get all these expensive two thousand dollar cameras to record a 1080p video for YouTube? <laughs> and Edgar is killing it with his his phones and, and how he does his thing. So uh, I'm really excited to see the benefit of that for him. Now the design I still haven't held it, and I'm hearing a lot a lot of people saying Microsoft fanboys, to be fair, saying that it, it's the same song and dance where you need to hold the phone and see it in person. And I, I can I can empathize with that because that's something that uh the old Lumias, you'd see them in the videos, like, man, what the hell? And then you get to the store, like, man, let me get that phone. And then you get it, and like, whoa, not bad, actually. So it looks like more the same. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it, to tell you the truth. Uh, and I'm probably gonna have both phones around for a while. I probably will go back to, uh, to the, the, the Windows phone as my daily driver and just have the Samsung on the secondary line. I just, man, there's so much frustrations, and and I've been I've been jotting down points passively on, on what is really frustrating me about the Galaxy and what I do and don't like about the S6 Edge, and I'm contemplating doing a, a, a second review, you know, months later, weeks later, whatever the hell, whatever we call it. So let me know if you guys, if that's something you guys want to see. I definitely put that together. But yeah, it's your boy, Ramon. Lifestyles Defined. Thank you for your question, sir. Leave your comments below. Like the video and subscribe if you don't mind. I'm out of here. Peace.